Billy in the Woodlands, you're on the Michael Berry Show. How you doing, Michael? Good. Go ahead. I just want to say that there's not a single thing that you've mentioned that that makes any bit of sense. And you, you you've covered so many subjects since since you invoked me to call. I don't know which one you want to talk about first. Well, well, if you called, you must have had a reason. Why don't you go ahead and start there, Billy? Well, I just want to talk about. And well, I mean, you 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 got a lot of subjects going on right now. I tell you what, Billy, why don't you pick one? Okay. Well, most recently, the moratorium uh, is kind of a reason why we did that. It's because we got oil spilling out into our Gulf right now and contaminating the environment. We do. <laughs> Have you not? Have you been under a rock for the last twelve months? I have. Help me. How much is spilling? Well, it's, it's still in our environment. Although it may not be coming from the ground as we speak, it's still in our environment. And those those is practices. It? Where, that, where that in, our, in envi- our environment, Billy? I'm trying to learn, sir. You don't have to take that tone. I am. I am a student to your tutelage. Help me understand. I, I. I don't. I'm not. I don't have the wisdom you do. Just walk me through it. So. So bear with me and be patient. I'm trying to learn, sir. You. You. You've clearly. You've so clearly been in life. So takes place of intelligence. I don't even know what that means. But okay. So where is the oil spilling into our environment? Is you, so you're trying to tell me that? No, you sir. I'm not. I'm not trying to tell you anything. I'm just trying to learn. I'm. I'm trying to learn from you. Where is the oil spilling into our environment? The well, I, the, it's not spilling currently, but there's still oil left over from that spill that is in our environment. Where, and where in our environment that put is that it? That oil in our environment are still in place. So why don't we have things to counteract that? Well, okay. Well, let, let me help me make sure I understand. So the practices that caused that spill are still in effect. What were the pra- were there multiple spills, or was there just the one Macondo spill by BP? Recently, that's the only one. Okay. And the last one of that size was when? I don't know. I'm 1979. Not a, I'm not 1979. Oh, uh, clearly, but you have an opinion on all this. So, yeah, I do so, have an opinion so, because you seem to, when you, you obviously admitted just now, well, you're not a scholar of much. No, no, I'm, but I'm learning from you, Billy. So, so just so I I'm understand, not. so you, you believe that the, what we should do is end offshore drilling and then we'll yeah. never have any spills. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, well, let me understand this. So the reason to do this is to save the environment, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it only Americans that have offshore spills, or do some other countries have them as well? Uh, I'm sorry? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I can get to where you're going and concede that it's possible that other countries have oil spills, what, what, but do, it's do not you in think... our control. Our government... Okay. We're not in control of other governments. We're in control of our government. Okay. Do you think there is more or less drilling in the Gulf since the moratorium on April 27 than there was before? I don't have an opinion about that because I don't know. Okay. Well, what if I told you that other countries are drilling and that were they to have a spill, it would contaminate this same environment, by which I mean body of water, and if it washed in the swamps. What if I told you that? Would that, would that matter? Would it matter? Yeah, it matters. I mean, we don't. We want that to be discontinued as well. Okay. I mean, it's it's our country that's demanding it. Right. Okay. Well, so that I understand, if we shut down all drilling here, then there won't be any damage to the environment, right? There won't be any oil damage if we shut down as much as we can here, and that that's just one. That's just one part of the problem. We need to decrease. The, our demand on it, first of all, by oh. going into uh, a green environment, okay. just like our great president is trying to put forth today. Okay. Well, and how how will that be, Billy? What what will we use as our energy source if we don't use traditional fuel? Uh, well, some of the hot gas coming out of your mouth right now, or perhaps the the sun's energy, solar power. Wind energy, there's a lot of other abundant resources that we could tap into had we dedicated our resources as opposed to dedicating our resources to putting holes in the ground offshore of a of an expendable resource that's not replenishable and it's destroying our environment. Okay. So now that it's not destroying our environment and now that we're using wind energy, are you aware if we were to go to if we were to maximize 
the capacity of wind energy capability in this country, are you aware of what percentage of our total energy demands could be met by wind energy? What would you Michael, guess that would be? I, I know you, you're having trouble with your memory and all because you sound a little bit sick. But if you'll remember, if you back up in your recording by about uh, about 300 seconds ago when I said we need to decrease our demand, do you remember that part? Oh, okay. Well, how do we? It's five percent, by the way. That's the most you could ever meet with wind energy. All right. How so 5% exactly? Five percent of our current demand, which I just told you, if if you'll come along with me, if you'll go along with me, Michael, I know you're having trouble. But if you go along with your conservative ideology, it's also possible. But, for B- Billy, to Billy, focus, demand. son. I, I understand you're 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 excited. You're proud. You're you're talking on the big radio. Let me ask you this: no, how how do you that's what, that's how do you, you decrease the de- about talking on the radio? How, how do you decrease the demand, Billy? How do you decrease the demand? Yeah, how do you do that? Just walk walk me through it. Well, I mean. Well, let me ask you this. No, 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 it's your show. It's your, ago, it's your well, show. No, I'm you... telling you, I'm telling you, but we're going to have to go through a little bit of a 20-second story right here, or a question and answer portion. A thousand years ago, there were people on the earth, were there not? Mm-hmm. Did they demand oil? <laughs> um, you know what, Billy, i gotta got to give you credit. They, they didn't. In fact, they didn't demand oil. In fact, they didn't even drive around in cars, so there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Exactly. Are you driving so around we... right now, Billy? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, no, I walk. Wh- you walk, okay. Yeah. Well, what do you do for a living, Billy? I'm I'm curious. We just, I'm a you, social worker. I see. <laughs> <laughs> you are That's a funny, funny it's fart. It's funny that okay. someone in the world is trying to <laughs> dedicate their lives to something else than fattening in their own pocket and Billy. spreading their own their own social wealth of this uh, popularity that you derive so much pleasure from. You're, you're a popular guy on Billy, the city council, Billy, it up with your radio show. You are well, a I'm funny, funny, the, I'm funny the guy. I'm helping giving back to the community. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you couldn't have picked a better thing that you do for a living. <laughs> My goodness alive. Look at you out you there. You got a problem with that? Do you do you do you have a, do you have a negative opinion about my profession? No, let me tell you. no, let me I don't you. have a negative opinion. I just I know I that most that people like you. Most people like you have exactly that opinion. Bless your heart. You've got an eight-year-old's idea of how the world works. Well, if we just don't use so much energy, everything will be nice. You poor pitiful thing. I'll bet you a dollar to a donut your parents still subsidize you because you can't make enough to live the lifestyle you want. And your narrow-minded, naive belief as to how things work. One of the things you don't understand is that the oil that comes out of the Gulf is used for far more than the gas that goes into your car. And I think that's touching that you walk around and live like people did a thousand years ago. But I don't think you'll find very many Americans who subscribe to that as a way to live, just so you know. Now, Billy, you were trying to talk over me, so I had to put you in timeout for a minute. You understand the concept of timeout, right? Hey, it's your world, Michael. Good. Now... How exactly do we decrease the demand of energy in this country without affecting manufacturing or the convenience of the everyday America? What what things would you do to reduce our demand? Okay, so I guess I'll respond to what you want to, although I'm not allowed to respond to the things that Billy you're, Billy you're Billy you're becoming tedious now. I'm going to send you to your room. To my profession. And you're trying to to make it seem like I don't have my place in the world because I do something that's better for our community while you sit on the radio and try and fill your pockets. But I'll, I'll talk about how we could decrease our demand if that's what you wish. What, what would you rather talk about, Billy? Obviously, you're very upset. You're frustrated. I understand. What, what else would you like to talk about? Well, I mean, I, I want to talk about how we can get this country on the right track and off of the track that you uh, you. Uh, conservative talk show hosts want to put us in. Okay, well, don't worry about us. I tell you what, Billy, it's your show. Put us on the ba- on the right track. Go ahead. 
okay, well, first of all, we we need to let our President Obama have a chance. We need to give uh, socialism a try and get off this capitalism crap that hasn't worked for us over the last 200-something years. That's for starters. Okay, so that, I think we that I stop think putting the motives inside of people to get rich and to start furthering our our species. Right. Okay. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. What else? Let me ask you this, Billy. Where Where'd you go to college? Where did I go to college? Mm-hmm. Why does that matter? It doesn't matter. Why are you so defensive? Where'd you go to college? I went to college at Southwest Texas University. Okay. Um, what does your dad do for a living? My dad's dead. Okay, what did he do for a living? I don't know. Okay. What? Actually, in my life, I actually uh, was benefited a lot from people that were social workers from a young age since my mother died when I was nine, and I didn't really have much to fall back on like you did. So I felt <laughs> like I'd, I'd choose my profession to give back to the community as it was given to me. Oh, no. Clearly, Billy, you're giving back no more than anybody. I know no helped you out in your life, and your main mission is to further your goals. <laughs> Billy, Billy, there's so much anger built up, and you bless your heart. I think what you need you, you, is you, a big old hug. I sense it generally doesn't take long. You ask the right questions to figure out a person like you. Your views on socialism and all that, your views, at your anti-capitalist views and saving the environment, what they really boil down to, and, and I'm sad to have to say this, what they really boil down to is a grown man and you— You sound 12, but you're a grown man who needs a hug. I think you need a hug. I think you need somebody to tell you they love you. I think it would be nice if it was some sort of a father figure or or somebody successful. My guess is you feel left out. My guess is you feel angry. You got the short end of the stick, and here you are, the only one trying to save the earth and and other people just like you, and nobody else cares, and everybody else is out there trying to get rich, and it's just wrong. It's just wrong. There are all anybody cares about is getting rich, and only you. You are the only one who wants to save the world. You are the only one who wants to save people like you. You know what, Billy? The truth of the matter is there's dignity in being a social worker, and I do believe that. I'm grateful that people are willing to do it because it doesn't pay very well, and I know that. And I know that it can be frustrating. And I know that sometimes it probably does seem that a lot of us out here don't care about what you do. But I also know that it means that you don't have to meet a profit. It means that you draw a paycheck, small as it may be, and I don't fault you for that. I also know that you don't have to make investments and show returns on them. I know that you don't have to hire and fire. I know that you don't understand how the society works that throws off enough cash that some people can devote themselves to the least among us. There's dignity in what you do, sir. There is. But for you to believe that everybody else is evil because they are trying to be successful in their chosen profession or trade, that's just wrong. And it's disappointing to me that institutions that have provided you with education and training have imbued you with the hatred of the capitalistic system because more people have educational opportunities in this country than in any in the world. And the least in our society are treated better than anywhere in the world. And the middle class in our society is better off than anywhere else in the world. And social mobility from poor to rich is greater than any place else in the world. And that is directly related to capitalism. I'm going to pray for you, Billy, because there's a lot of pent-up anger. And I'm going to pray for you because you've been unloved. But what you do is worthy. I'm going to give you a a virtual over-the-air pat on the back, and I'm going to tell you attitude adjustment, deep breath, attitude adjustment. You are worthy, Billy. You are worthy. Nothing matters more than saving the planet. Recycle this, pal. The Michael Berry Show. Michael Berry.